It's Oktoberfest! Let's legitimize our drinking by talking about it scientifically. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News. I've got local craft brewer Jesse Friedman here with me from Almanac Brewery here in uh, San Francisco. All cooking is kind of chemistry, yeah. right? But brewing, I find, is especially so, right? Because it's so specific and precise, the way you have to get different beers, the things you have to change to make things work. Yeah, I say I always often say that uh, brewing's a lot like baking. Okay. You know, both involve a lot of fermentation if you're bread making, and you sort of set up everything, and then you just sort of set the process loose and see what comes out at the other end. And so instead of like cooking, where you adjust as you cook and stuff mm -hmm. like that, with beer, it's more like you see how it comes out, and then you go back to the beginning and make a new batch and tweak and adjust your process. So tell us uh, about the main ingredients that are going to go into every beer and kind of what purpose they serve. So all beer, by definition, contains four ingredients: water, hops yeast and barley. Okay. And that goes back to a 17th century German purity law that said only those ingredients could be made with it. Uh, at the time they didn't say yeast because it hadn't been discovered, but after okay. they found out there's yeast, they add that in. Okay. Um, and so each of those ingredients, and you can vary all of them in different ways to make all the different styles of beer. So what makes us adhere to the 17th century definition as opposed to kind of evolving it? Oh, we don't. We flaunt it. Uh, okay. My brewery <laughs> flaunts it at every opportunity. Excellent. Um, we, we put all sorts of different things in our beer. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about some of the other stuff that you guys put in. I mean, sometimes fruit is added, right? Sometimes yeah. other kinds of food. So Almanac Beer, we call ourselves a farm to barrel brewery. Mm -hmm. So we brew, uh, we describe our beers as being brewed in collaboration with local farms. So the idea, and I'm going to use a fancy French term here, is to infuse a sense of terroir into our beer. Okay. Because beer is all made with, all the ingredients in beer can be dried and easily transported. So the idea is to go to local agriculture systems and bring in fruits and vegetables and local ingredients to infuse a sense of California back into our beer. You know, we brew with a lot of real fruit, uh, so we source that fruit from local farms and then we stand there and by hand put all that fruit into the barrels one piece at a time. Gotcha. So talk to me about the chemistry of what goes on here. When you throw everything into the vat, what happens? Well, you, you, throw, uh, you start out with your barley mm -hmm. um, and uh, the barley is malted. Uh, so the, and that's usually done by a maltster. So you know, usually a brewery won't do that ourselves. And that'll uh, they sprout it and then kiln it to different levels. And actually, that toasting process is how we make beer lots of different colors. We take that, we soak it in just the right temperature of water uh, to extract out exactly what we want out of there. And beer brewing is one of those great things where uh, the process has been evolved over so many hundreds of years that it's like a self-contained process. So when we okay. melt all the sugars and starches out of the barley, uh, the husks that are in there actually become a natural grain bed that filters it out. So you get an almost oh, wow. perfectly crystal clear liquid when you're done with that. Huh. Then we begin a boiling process and we add hops during the boiling process and the hops act as a uh, preservative and delicious, delicious flavoring <laughs> agent. Uh, so we add hops at the beginning of, a bo of the boil and that creates bitterness. Mm -hmm. And the more hops you add at the end of the boil, those actually add aromas. So you guys are also doing something that's uh, kind of trendy right now in brewing, which is uh, the barrel aging. Exactly. How does that work? Well, that's one of those trendy things that's thousands of years old for beer <laughs> brewing. It's, it's definitely very in vogue and it's one of the most exciting parts of the beer brewing process. Mm -hmm. So we take uh, the beer and we don't just brew with brewer's yeast, we sort of draw on, uh, uh, for how strict and uh, the Germans are mm -hmm. about their beer brewing process, uh, the Belgians are kind of the opposite. Okay. So they'll make beers in Belgium that are what are called spontaneously fermented. So that means they uh, they make the sugar water solution called wort. Okay. Um, and then instead of adding a very specific yeast strain, they actually open the windows, and whatever drifts in through the windows will then create the spontaneously fermented beer. What? So we draw on that tradition for a lot of our wild, what are called wild or sour ales. Okay. So there's a common. What, dr what drifts in through the window? Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like San Francisco sourdough. Okay. So in San Francisco, if you want to make San Francisco sourdough, step one, go to San Francisco. Okay. Uh, and then you just mix some flour and some water and put that out, and it'll naturally inoculate. Because we have, there's wild yeast, there's lactobacillus, yeah. uh, there's all these different bugs, they're all around us all the time, it's just a matter of culturing them. And then as you grow them up, the, the alcohol tolerant ones will naturally weed themselves out. Okay. And so that's how, so we take, uh, we use a cocktail of wild Belgian yeast and some San Francisco sourdough to bring in that local flavor. Uh, and we age the beer in a barrel. In a barrel, the oak is perfect because as, you know, it gets warm and dark during the day, the barrel actually will breathe, soaking in the beer and pushing it back out. So we get all those great, you know, whiskey, oaky flavors. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, so how long have you guys been around? 
uh, just celebrated our two-year anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. Happy anniversary. Well, thank you. And you guys have a website as well? Yep, almanacbeer.com. If you want to know more about Almanac's barrel aging process or about the beer brewing process at all, there is a new show for beer enthusiasts. It is called Brew Age. It's at youtube.com slash TV. That starts on October 23rd, so check it out. Jesse, thanks so much for coming by. Hey, thanks for having me. Let's go get a beer. Yes! <laughs>